one in six people has a fear of flying. Tonight, a new look at how new technology is helping them soar to new heights. Pounding heart, um, sweating, butterflies in the stomach. Panic. <laughs> Just this anxiety swells up in me. Not exactly how you want to feel when heading out of town, but what's not a big deal for many of us can be a terrifying trip for others. Oftentimes they find at the last moment they can't get on or they get on and they say, I got to get off this thing. Tom Bunn is a commercial pilot and a licensed therapist. Over the years, he's helped fearful flyers deal with their anxiety. Now, that advice is just a mouse click away. They go through step by step through this process of changing the labels on these thoughts. Nervous Nellies can download a program from the website and listen to it on their MP3 player, both before a trip and along the way. What? In addition to teaching anti-anxiety exercises, the podcast walks listeners through the flying process step by step. Learn what the noises are, what to expect, what's going to happen next, and that helps a lot. Bunn says if you listen to the program every day for about a week, you'll be programmed. Then keep those earphones on once you're at the airport. We stop in the terminal, do a special relaxation exercise. It works just for that moment. Then they go through security, go into the boarding area. There's another download to take them through that. The most important thing to do now is to make sure that you're one of the first people on the airplane. So what about when the flight attendant tells you to shut off your iPod, the one thing that's keeping fearful flyers sane? Turn off your MP3 player now. We go through the whole takeoff. If this is what you're going to be going through, now turn off your iPod. And when they say it's okay to turn it back on, then turn it on. We go to the next step. Could fixing this phobia be as simple as a click and a download? Bun says yes, but only after 25 years of perfecting his program. We've been getting 100% success with this. And 100%? Yes. I, I haven't found anybody that I've worked with recently. You know, it took years to develop this. But after we got this system going, I haven't found anybody who's panics on the airplane anymore. Customers seem satisfied. I don't have to just look at cruises or train Amtrak trips, you know. I really am real proud of myself. Well, he seems pretty confident that it works for people out there that are uh, afraid to fly. It might be a good idea for them to try it out.